During the circuit breaker period, no one comes out to trim the grasses, so nature has overtaken land and there's a lot of wild grasses growing everywhere. That's alright because it attracts a lot of interesting critters and insects and that's what we're going to focus on today. It's Grassland Treasure Hunt, y'all! You can notice that there's a lot of this particular type of plant. You know, it looks like a bit of daisy, but no, it's called coat button flower. And why they can like spread super quickly is because this is how they spread their seeds. The wind blows and then it just like flies everywhere. So that's why they can ravage the whole entire land. The abundance of these flowers means it will attract a lot of butterflies, which means there'll be a lot of caterpillars. This caterpillar is chewing on the leaves of the mini passion fruit plant and that's because it is host plant. So if you would like to learn more about the life cycle of the butterfly, you can check out our butterfly video from before. No, dead stuff everywhere! Another common insect you'll find are the bees. Oh, so many bees! There's a dead dragonfly or dying, I don't know, I'm not sure. It's not moving but its head is bobbing up and down. It's most likely a female. Females usually they are like this drab yellow colour, while the males are the one that's super nice and beautiful. You know, red, blue, and they are bigger. Oh no, what happened to you? I have no idea how. Other than insects, we also found reptiles such as the changeable lizard hiding in the grasses and trees. So a changeable lizard is this non-native species of lizard in Singapore. The males, right, they can actually change its colour when it comes to breeding season. So it suddenly turn like from this dull brown to a very bright orange with a black patch near the face and then they'll start doing push-up to attract the female. Yes. Are they different from the lizards that we see at home? Uh, both are lizards, which belong to a group reptiles, but their toes are like a bit different. So the house lizards, right, they have toe pads with like suction packs where they can, you know, stick onto the walls and climb like uh, vertically up. For the changeable lizard, they actually like have tiny claws and they cannot really like, stick on the walls that well, so they will just climb onto like stems, trees. They're just found near the wild plants. This is a cute millipede that it likes to be found near the soil areas when there's a lot of compost. If you touch it or disturb it, right, it will actually produce this hydrogen cyanide gas, which is like really smelly and it can cause irritation to your skin. So don't anyhow touch, okay? Just leave them alone. Oh, it's going back home. Goodbye. Oh, what the hell is this? Ooh. Ah! It went away. This is a ladybug and contrary to its name, it's actually a beetle, not a bug. So we know ladybugs is like typical red body with black spots, right? But actually it can come in way many different colours. So it can be like orange, yellow, sometimes have spots, sometimes don't have spots. So it's really cool. I think we ran out of grass. Oh no, let's go to East Coast Park. There. No, there. Huh? There. <laughs> Why do we not see as many bees as before? Hmm, I feel that it's because we are near the beach. It's a seashore area, so the conditions are very different. It's not really much of a big blooming flower, so you don't really see a lot of bees here. That's okay, we we'll see other animals. So the ants inside the tunnel, they are like carrying this white little thing which actually is probably larvae of the ants. Perhaps their original nest got destroyed, so they are like moving their nest and their entire home right now and they are carrying their like, little babies to another area probably somewhere inside lah. With the increase in vegetation, there will be increase in number of insects which will increase the number of predators such as spiders. So spiders, they are not insects, they have eight legs, they are arachnids. Oh no, there's a baby bottle here! Why are people leaving baby stuff everywhere? Do you know why there's like not a lot of insects around the mimosa plant? Why? Because the closing of the leaves, right, is actually a bit scary to the insects. So when they realize the leaf actually just like move by itself, it will just run away. So that's one of the ways the mimosa defends itself against herbivory. There's a whole bunch of brown grasshoppers here. So contrary to popular belief, grasshoppers are not only green, they come in dull shapes of brown, orange, like bright yellow as well. And one easy way to identify a grasshopper is by its leg. They didn't skip leg day and it's like it's huge, then it will like come out as a triangular at the side. But it uses strong muscles in the legs to hop. Hop, yes. With the increase in the vegetation, there's also a lot more insects and little critters that we can find. But it also comes with a lot of trash. There's trash everywhere, look, there's trash there. There's like baby products everywhere. 
Would you prefer the wild grasses uncut to have more biodiversity? Or would you rather prefer our grass to be well maintained and have less risk of hidden trash? Discuss in the comment section below. So that's all for today. Just keep thinking.